What's up guys, the Hackspot here, and I realized I never quite made a video on how to connect your Xbox One or PS4 DualShock 4 controller on your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch on iOS 13 without a jailbreak. So I thought better now than ever, this is super cool. So with that said, let's go ahead and get started. All right, now this is really cool. Now before I start, I would like to thank CyberGhost VPN for sponsoring today's episode. CyberGhost VPN is a 15 year old company with over 30 million customers around the world. They have dedicated apps for all platforms, including Windows, Mac OS, iOS, Android, Android TV, Amazon Fire Stick, Linux, and even routers. Whew, I'm out of breath. Their extensive network includes over 6,100 VPN servers located in 90 different countries. One CyberGhost VPN subscription can protect up to seven of your devices simultaneously. And if you're not satisfied, they do also have a 45 day money back guarantee and also 24 seven customer support guys right now they are running an exclusive black friday sale that's exclusive to the hackspot followers so right now you can get cyber ghost vpn for only two dollars and 75 cents that is a 79 percent off discount from normal price it is the ultimate vpn and right now is the ultimate time to get it this is a great option and it's for a very affordable price you won't find another deal like this anywhere else so i'd recommend the guys act now and also helps out to support the channel anyways guys the exclusive black friday sale link will be down below in the description cool. and i thought it will also be the perfect time to show you guys apple arcade so i have been enjoying apple arcade i have the one month free trial i am not sponsored but it does have quite a few great games on there that i'll be showing you guys in this video now before i start which xbox one controllers are supported now the one with the black bar on the top you can see it has this black porsche at the top that's different colored this this controller does not have Bluetooth, but the new and updated controllers without the black bar at the top, you can see around the Xbox logo, it is not a different color. So that means this one does in fact support Bluetooth. So this one does this one does not so yeah let's go put this right here now as for ps4 basically every dualshock 4 controller is compatible the reason why the original xbox one controller is not compatible is because it does not have bluetooth so with that said let me show you guys how to find games and apps that are compatible with the controllers so let's go to open up the app store and once open there are so many games that you guys can go and test out so i'm going to tap on apple arcade at the bottom right there and there are so many games that are actually supported in apple arcade by the controller so to find out if any game on the app store is compatible with controller support all you gotta do is tap on the games for for example sonic racing and scroll down until you find this tab right here you're going to scroll over and if you guys see this icon right here controller and supported that means it is supported by xbox one and ps4 controllers so that is super cool now if it's not supported that icon will not be there so for example another game rayman mini you guys can see if i go and scroll down and swipe over it does not show that controllers are supported so this game does not have support for controllers now another game that has support is ocean horn 2 and i'm super excited to show you guys this ocean horn is a game that i've been waiting to play for quite some time and it's really ultimately the reason to why i'm making this video because it does have controller support swiping over you can see controllers are supported and oh boy i'm super excited to play this with the controller i haven't even tapped on the app to open it up and all right so with that said let's go ahead and get started first i'm gonna be starting out with the DualShock 4 controller. So what you want to do is under iPhone, first you want to open up the settings application. Once in settings, tap on Bluetooth and I want you guys to disable it for now. So this is just to make sure that controller does show up. So disable it right now. And now let's go to pick up our DualShock 4 controller. Mine's actually low on battery, so I'm gonna go and plug it in, but you don't have to. All right, so now that I got battery, what you want to do is hold on both the PlayStation button and the share button simultaneously at the same time. So here we go. It's going to hold on those buttons. You guys can see it will start spazzing out here in a second. And it's going to try that again. So hold on both these buttons at the same time. Keep on holding down, and there you go. Okay, that's the one that flash that you want. You don't want the slow flashing. You want this one that kind of spazzes out. So once you are in that mode, what you want to do is go back on your iPhone or iPad or iPod Touch, whichever device is on iOS 13, and then there is a DualShock 4 controller. Tap on it, and it will pair. Let me show you guys the controller, and now has a solid light. You guys can see that right there. So there you go. My controller just died. All right, so, but that's how you connect a PS4 controller. For some reason, this one's battery is messed up. I might need a new one, but honestly, please 
Enzo Hamey, I am an Xbox guy, so I wanted to play with the Xbox One controller anyways. But anyways, to do that, what you guys want to do again is turn off Bluetooth. So it's going to do that. Put our device inside. And on the Xbox controller, it's the Xbox button and the sync button at the top at the same time. So again, we can hold down those two buttons at the same time. And it's going to wait. You can see the Xbox logo kind of starts flashing. And let's go ahead and enable Bluetooth now. You guys can see that we should get the Xbox controller right there, Xbox wireless controller. Simply go ahead and tap on it. All right, let's go and try again. I didn't even try. Let's go and tap. All right, there you go. Now it's trying. There we go, Xbox wireless controller connected. And now we have a solid light here on the controller. So now let's go play some games, finally. All right, let's go and play the best first. So I don't know where you actually do that, but here we go, Ocean Horn 2. I have even tapped on this game first. This is the first time I'm opening it up, so I'm super excited to play on it, especially with controllers. So you guys can see Apple Arcade. And this game you can only get with Apple Arcade at the moment. I'm gonna turn the volume up. Oh boy. I am excited, Ocean Horn 2. And we're playing it with an Xbox controller. This is gonna be amazing. Basically Zelda on your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. All right, so here we go. I'm kind of using the Beats headphones to make it work, the fake ones. All right, so let's go ahead and start a new game. I'm gonna use the first slot right there. You can see I'm using my Xbox controller to play this. this paragraph to be the last for Realm of Arcadia. <laughs> oh boy, I'm so excited. Oh, it looks like I gotta hold the A button to skip. I can see that. I'm actually gonna start with screen recording too for you guys because this is gonna be dope. So you guys could get a glimpse of Ocean Horn 2 if you have still yet to get Apple Arcade. All right. Looks like we got the ocean. I'm just gonna skip for you guys, show you guys the actual gameplay with the controller. Retrieve a lockbox, Mayfair. Oh, this is dope! So I can move around. The controls are just like how you'd expect. So you can see that. What about, do I have a sword? Oh, I do have a sword, okay. It's X to do it, use it, and... Could I jump? No, I can roll. This feels exactly like Zelda on the phone, so... This is actually really cool. I'm so excited to play with this. Let me go and jump in the ocean. Let me first. All right, we got some hearts. Oh boy, yeah, I am excited to play this. All right, but anyways, let's go and try another game to show you guys the variety that this works on. I'm going to do Sonic Racing. All right, actually, we have to do practice, so I'm just going to go and start a practice race because I am playing offline. All right. Oh, okay. Oh boy, I'm excited. All right. How do I use my item? Oh, there you go. Let's just say. This is so much better with the controller. Uh, I'm doing kind of bad. I can also press my Xbox button, I think. No, I can't go home like that, like on uh, Android. But you can see it does work perfectly fine. It's going to use this game called Hot Lava. Even without a controller, this game is amazing. You can actually like use like the phone to look around. And I think that's pretty dope. All right, here we go, Hot Lava. And you can see I go through the menu. It's going to hit play. So the first level. All right, so you can see I'm looking around. I'm going to walk around, jump. Everything works. Don't know what that does yet. I just started the game. All right, but guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to smash that like button and also be sure to get subscribed for tons more videos. I've got so much more exciting content planned. Enjoy iOS 13, playing your favorite iOS games using controllers. This is the Hackspot and peace out.